just miracles and I mean causing the main to be whole. That's still the one that just boggles my mind. People coming up and their legs cut off and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. People coming up and their legs cut off and the Lord's touching them and their leg regrows. But uh, just a real neat answer to prayer. Um, the video that I did about the attacks, current attacks on the ministry, um, there were two cases, open cases left of the guy. I, I, you know, showed his information, things just, 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 you know, showed his information, things just to, to show people how these infiltrators work and everything else. And uh, so uh, people that try to infiltrate, we're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. We're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. We're going to be able to have access to their full name, address, the whole deal. Uh, unlike dealing with liberals that don't protect while uh, leaving Christians like, you know, myself and you if you're a friend of the ministry. All right, just a quick video pointing out a really hypocritical stance. And, you know, the thing I've been noticing with Brian Denlinger when it comes to elders and the role of an elder and respect for an elder and criticizing an elder and that essentially that you'll notice a lot that Brian Dillinger will throw out his little elder status like the biggest example was that video game sermon and when he was criticized for it he was just like you wouldn't believe how many times he kept saying I'm an older man I'm an older man I know more than you I know, I know more than you so you know he loves and of course, when Tim Conning rebuked him, he in the emails correspondence, he was constantly throwing out his age as like some kind of way to deflect criticism. So he loves throwing out his age. But in this clip I'm going to show, you'll see him actually saying, you know, essentially that, well, you know, he's, he's criticizing David Cloud. And he says, you know, that one of the accusations is that, well, David Cloud's older than you. And he says, I don't care. The guy's lying, which is very true. You know, just because someone's an elder doesn't mean they can just do all the bad, you know, commit all the sin they want and you can't criticize them. So Brian Dellinger is correct. You know, just because David Cloud is an elder to him doesn't mean that he's above reproach. And if he's, you know, telling lies, then that ought to be rebuked. Check this out. The man who is incapable of dealing with error or refuses to deal with it is not qualified to lead a church. This means that a great many pastors today are disqualified, including you, David Cloud. A lying hypocrite. Sometimes sharp rebukes are necessary to keep God's people in the truth, which is what I'm doing. That's exactly what I'm doing. Some of you aren't going to be able to handle it. Some of you are going to be like, I don't appreciate the way you're writing and saying this thing. And you shouldn't be attacking David Cloud. He's a good man, blah, 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 blah. And he's older than you and blah, blah, blah. Let no man despise thy youth, whatever. You know, he's lying in this book. Lying and lying and lying and lying. Notice that exact wording, what he says. Oh, he's older than you. I don't care. He's lying and lying and lying. So obviously he's rebuking David Cloud for error. But... When Tim Connor rebuked Brian Dellinger for his errors, guess what? Brian Dellinger did the exact same thing. He just told continual lies. In fact, in Tim's response video, Brian was caught lying multiple times, knowingly telling lies. And that's not the first time he's done this. So essentially, Brian Dellinger can criticize David Cloud, you know, for making, you know, basically telling lies as an elder. And he's right for doing so. But now Brian Dellinger has become the exact same same type of person who would throw out his elder status as a way to deflect criticism. Brian Dellinger is doing the exact same thing. He's telling lies over and over and over again. But when he's rebuked, oh, I'm an older man. You're rebu rebuke not an elder. And by the way, this is actually a common trait with most of the so-called elders who follow Brian's group. Because I had one of them actually, back when I was part of the cult, tell some lies about me and I rebuked him for it. And he says, oh, rebuke not an elder. They take that verse out of context. So they love to throw out their little elder status as a way to try to deflect criticism when they're rebuked for their errors. And by the way, too, it, you know, saying things like, oh, I'm not perfect or whatever, it may work when you're a babe in Christ, but not when you've been saved for, you know, over 20 years and not when you've been in ministry for over 10 years like Brian has. So, you know, he ought to be held to a higher standard as a preacher, to say the least. And the fact that uh, how, how much influence he has over younger babes in Christ. And funny too, rebuke not an elder. They kind of forget to read down to verses 19 and 20 because 1 Timothy 5, 1, they love the quote out of context, but they forget to read down to verses 19 and 20, which give the scriptural ground to rebuking an elder. If they're an unrepentant sin and you have at least two witnesses, they, have, they, they can be rebuked, you know? And Brian Dillinger 
was in unrepentant sin and heresy, and Tim had multiple witnesses to back him up. So he had every every right scripturally to rebuke Brian, regardless of, of the fact that he's an elder. And by the way, too, you know, Brian loves to act like he's just, you know, some wise old coot who's been through everything. Okay, last time I checked, the, the guy's like 47 going on 48, okay? He's a young middle-aged guy. So... He definitely is older than most of the people who follow him. But when he acts like he's some kind of wise old coot, he's like, oh, I'm an old man now. I'm an old man now. No, you're a young middle-aged guy. Like, like I quickly quickly looked it up. Middle-aged is generally seen as kind of like 45 to like 64. So if you're like, you know, late 40s, you're a young middle-aged guy. So stop trying to, so Brian, stop trying to act like you're some wise old coot who, you know, just has been through everything life has to offer. Because still, you know, he's just begun middle-aged. So, you know, it just comes, it, it's basically an example of his pride, to say the least. But, you know, this is the fruit of Brian's ministry, hypocrisy. It's okay, and this is not the first time he's criticized somebody who is decades older than him, somebody who's easily old enough to be his elder. So, it's okay when he does it when the person's in error, but if you do it to Brian Dang, if you apply that same standard to Brian, well, you're wrong for rebuking the elder. It's hypocrisy, but hey, it's the fruit of Brian's ministry. So, anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.